Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary blind playthrough on Grandmaster mode. It is time for Optilus, a level 4 infected um, planet where we are just going to seek and destroy all of the bloom spawn. I'm not going to use that extra deed because I don't think that giving up our servitors is helpful, specifically since we can use them for extraction. We've upgraded a lot of our gear, so I'm curious to see how this is going to play out. We definitely have really, really heavy armor, and the armor the itself is also upgraded, so we're going to see much, much tankier Grey Knights than before. Let's go, boys. All right, time for some merciless slaughter. The Astra Militarum are engaged in a protracted campaign below. The Bloomspawn will have easy access to loose biomatter, consuming it to accelerate their growth. Then we must bathe every last one in purifying flame. Look at that. Wow, five armor, three armor, four armor, and that's even without Aegis. Love it. Good, I think our purifying flames will hit on the left hand side first. What is your will? Onward, brothers. More horrors invade our realm. We might be able to just teleport over there. The Librarian is such a game-changer with the teleportation, it's unbelievable. Here. Good, let's take the Librarian. And if we warp charge, we should get over there in one bit, right? Right. Let's go. Oh no. Down the stairs. And that guy looks like a champion of sorts. What do we have here? Okay, listen. I mean, we're just My in the middle of combat. But I guess we're very close, so it's not that ready. bad. Let's, for starters, get all of the bloom seats. Build a seed from this rot. The extractor is super helpful. Another foul seed. So just out of curiosity, is these demonic? Yeah, they are. Fantastic. Extra damage from our weapon. And what can this guy do? Lord of Virulence. Uh, spreads a hazard over range, afflicts plague 200%. So it plagues you even if you're immune, ignores cover. That guy needs to die. Immunity to afflictions. All ally range attacks gain armor pierce. Ooh. Twin sp uh, spewer. And a plague claw. Okay. This guy's bad news. Like all around bad news. At your service. What is your will? Hmm. 
Dan just can't reach this guy back there. Not cool. Yeah. Can we teleport? Yes, we can. So it's easy. I think, to be fair, this calls for a bit of extra damage. We need crits, and we need a lot of crits. Yeah. And whilst we are sitting so nicely together, I'm wondering, is there a chance that all of you guys are just going for that hailer school? Okay, well, it's not bad, which means uh, two less to worry about, for starters. Good. Three turns of warp speed into... I should have, by the way, done that before... before we were starting. Gliding through the wall. Pushes to uh, ourselves to here. Weapons ready. Yeah, we don't want yet another set of enemies. Um, okay, so. Great hit, by the way. Nice little crit. Taste Lovely. Uh, I think we're just continuing. So much damage. But plant doesn't even know what's happening. Ranged weapon needs to go. Wow, the sword. Holy moly. That's some badass damage. Okay, moves all the way up to here. Hands over action. And we would be better in melee. Oh, there is still one more that is hiding there. Good, hit this guy. Plus two damage. Almost kills the plant. No 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 we're good. My blade is ever ready. Dan gets the kill and regains some of the uh, will points. Fantastic. It is finished. Problem solved. Standing ready. Ranged weapon goes. Oh my lord, that sword is tearing through everything. Moves up. My blade is yours. Another kill. 
Who's next, brothers? Be ready. Insta death. Who's next, brothers? <laughs> I am the Emperor's Fury. We just killed everyone. Wow, that was a badass round. Enemies explode on death. Mm. The question that I have is, is that an auto? Uh, no, it's just when killed, explode, deal three points of damage. I am here to serve. Well, can't really do much about that. Other than lamenting it. Because that for sure is a pretty bad thing. Stun. Now purging would be nice. Do we have an option to purge them? Unleash me. Hoover. Does this here purge? Nah, it purifies us and that's Why all it does. I have sanctified my realms. What is your will? What is your will? Good, we're moving to here. On my way. Then this here will trigger. You will heal. Standing ready. Good. Well, it is a bit of damage. My blade is ever but there is only so much I can do about it. One. Two. Hmm, Tag no longer has Master of Destruction. I think this is the important one. I hate the plague. Follow me, these.
This prevents damage from happening. Good. That'll also allow us to give anyone here. I think Dan is uh, the right person who should. That brings us into the nice position where we would want to continue to move up. I sense their presence. But we still got a round of warp speed, which is good. Let's go, engage, because that means our round isn't over. <laughs> Finally, my reckoning has come. Brothers, strike for the chapter. Good, we're going to strike for the chapter, don't worry about that. But before we do anything. I'll build a seed from this rot. This here is a demon, right? It must be. No, it's a mechanical creature. I see. Well that actually makes a lot of sense. their massive bolter. Support fire is great. I think it's slightly one of the strongest. Abilities. Five points of damage. How can you not skill that is the question. I must rearm your orders. Seven here. They will rot no more. On the way. Okay, so whilst this is exploding, let's heal our friend. If we position ourselves here, I think I can teleport through the walls. What is your will? Um, got enough to pull this off. You're still buffed, right? Yeah, you are. 
Fantastic. What is your will? can't teleport through walls it needs to be inside these heretics will suffer the these heretics the indeed will suffer I don't see a reason why we let any of them live or there and this plus warp charge confirm go Give me your seat. I love that extract. Another foul seed claim. There is even more over there. Yes, Commander. Can we reach it? No. I'm trying to speed up. Anyone got our main damage speed up? Uh, so that we may be able to gather that seed back there. Okay, we could theoretically gather it. Where's the support fire? Good. Yes, come on. Where is the support fire? The enemy is wounded. I am Standing ready. Storm threat eliminated. Well, that was an un uh, well, that was a fortunate or unfortunate crit. With it critting, we are we had no chance to gather the other seed side. It it would have potentially still worked out, but uh, yeah. Minor improvement there. I wasn't expecting, of course, that we're critting, but to be fair, that massive sword crits a lot. And it is so good. That weapon is incredible. Look at the amount of seats that we gathered. So we got a level 3 Cyborger here. Apostate's Woe. Uh, for extra crit chance, if we activate it, uh, the cyborg has 50% extra crit chance. Wow. Can increase the range. When this weapon crits, it can choose to damage the target's body parts. And it gets another 30% base crit. 
Hmm. That's hardcore. Auto loader. Uh, range 15, reloads the weapon. And we got purity here. 65% resistances, two armor. That's a really good armor. Ogun's Edict, six points of damage. Um, then four strikes, gain 40% crit. <laughs> the weapon itself is 45. Okay, that's a crit monster. The weapon that we're currently having isn't bad either. It has a bigger, higher um, base damage with 7, I think. This one here has 35% and then 75% on a um, upgraded crit. Yeah, falcons seem to be kind of uh, the weapon of choice if you if you want to do crits. Let me think about it because with uh, the melee buff that would definitely get you a lot of damage. But we already have a really good weapon. We don't have a great uh, ranged weapon. So I like this here. And it might be even good for our apothecary. And uh, not apothecary, um, librarian. If we ever go into the cyborg thing, because he does have a lot of skills that massively increase the damage uh, if you crit with your Psybolt. And if this has a base 30% plus 50, 80% crit chance, plus some of the enemies have crit vulnerability of 15%, then that's almost always a crit. Good range on top of it. And even more important, the precision uh, targeting. Yeah, I, that's that's a given for me. And I think we're going to take that um, reload school because oftentimes reloads cost us uh, quite a few points and this is 15 range. This is 15 range. I can still see, I, we need the disruptor school, the extractor school, the auto hailer school. All of those are good and are stable. But I could see that this here is actually going to save us a lot of uh, action points. Then again, purity is great. This is a good armor. 65% resistances. Ah, uh, this is normal power armor, okay. Yeah, never mind in that case. Not that I don't like normal power armor, it's good. But I like Terminator armor more. Okay. Yep, we're satisfied. 10! Oh, another interceptor gone. <clears throat> All right, look at that. That is one option. The other option is we're going for AOE melee attack plus knockback. Upgrade it, get some more will points. Uh, sure, let's just 
check out how how that ability works. <clears throat> Ten percent melee attack. I think that's worth it. And we're a little bit shy on will points. So I might increase that by two. And we got another level 9 character. Unbelievable. Um, it's sad. Which means... Which means... Uh, we are... Picking armor and uh, this weapon by the way if we upgrade it no we can't and we got an armor then ranged weapon and as a war gear slot we're taking the extractor. Too good to not take that. In terms of our barracks, um, I mean, the interceptors have sidelined the purchasers a little bit. Not that the purchasers are bad or anything, but. The interceptors are just very dominant. The librarian also incredibly, incredibly dominant. Um, yeah, that brings me here up here. We had uh, cyborg crits plus three damage. and armor piercing on top of it. That's pretty damn good. And if you do have a bolter, this weapon here is six damage. This is only four damage, but the Psy uh, damage is crazy. Permanently upgrade the crit. It's not 80%, but well, we're damn close. And the crits, whenever this weapon crits, you can choose uh, to damage one of the target's body parts. This is insanely good. And he's potentially the one who can spare some of uh, the willpower the most. In that case, we're only teleporting twice and not thrice a mission, and he has five of those bolts, uh, bolts left. That is a great weapon. Which kind of brings us to Dan. In terms of loadout, what's his bolt of choice? Good, five points of damage. Now, I think this bolter here is better. And then finally, we had our apothecary with 
Eden's Gift. That's a five damage. Nice little range damage. So we got good borders now. Uh, this border is good. This border here is insanely good. Some really strong weapons. And we're down to two bloom here. Fantastic. We need more servitors. We got a lot of grimoires. I wonder if it would have been more clever to get the servitors first. Warning. Servitor reserves have reached critically low numbers. A nearby storehouse of the Adeptus Mechanicus has been notified and stockpiles allocated. However... We got six servitors. We can't build anything with that, can we? Twelve, nine, eight. Okay, what? Well That's the Servitor mission? Good, we got a nice little um, Tide of Shadows stratagem that can purify every single one of us. That's great. Good, time for one of my favorite ideas. Try to dominate something. Imagine we have one of uh, those great mechs and we're just dominating them. That would be so awesome. Update. The storehouse quartermaster is withholding half our quota of servitors. This behavior is highly unorthodox. These are your comrades, Dominus. What do you think he wants? Egotism is a vulgar personality paradigm. Mars will be notified. We can't exactly wait for him to be replaced. Perhaps we can offer something in exchange. Oh, no, 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 no. My storm borders are good. I don't want to give them away. Consensus. Further negotiation will cause suboptimal temporal loss. Okay, we got like what? 11 servitors? Yeah, the construction speed doesn't even matter at this point. We could try to repair. By the way, we finished the stasis chamber. What does that do? In the meantime, repair the hull. It's not great, but it'll take some time and we needed to do it anyway, so What does the stasis chamber do? Zebes. How do I select? How do I select the stasis chamber? So here it says, without a functional preservation faci uh, facility we have had no choice but to harvest the gene seed of any knight whose injuries surpass the limits of the apothecarian. Stasis chamber will allow uh, to be uh, interned so that the brothers can learn from the wisdom. Okay, but what does that mean? Bortama. I 
have no idea what that means. Santor. I'm missing something and I think I'm not understanding it fully. So there is supposed to be a stasis chamber. Commander. The stasis chamber will now preserve four knights who cannot recover from the wounds and allow the brothers to benefit from their hard earned wisdom. Requires a fallen knight to access. What does fallen knight mean? Killed? That's a bit of a strange concept. We can access it, but we can only access it with a fallen knight. Okay, when a mission without master crafted weapons, and here we need to eliminate the seed carriers, okay. Extract six seats, that's easy. Oh, over here, 15 servitors, but if we go to there, that'll likely mean things are over. Two grimoires, one requisition. Hmm. Yeah, in all fairness, I think it's better to do two missions instead of one, even though we're again not having servitors. I'm sure we will get servitors over time. Still not fully understanding that uh, stasis chamber thing. But I guess once anyone dies, we might find out. So at this point, who's going to be our team for the next mission? Mission without master crafted equipment. Yeah, that's a no, thank you. We, I know, it's just a no. Got a new interceptor here. And very soon we're going to go into support fire. Yeah, this here is too strong to not take it. It just is very, 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 very strong. In terms of stratagems, what are we going to do? I would love to take all allies gain 100% resistance for three turns and are purified. That seems like an awesome stratagem. And we had to reload Skull. So I have to wonder, you're still not here. Soon you are, but yet not yet. I have to wonder who's getting that reload skull. I like the disruptor skull, but I want to give that reload skull a good chance. Out the loader. Five ammo. Ooh, nice. And it doesn't cost anything. That might be a really, really good um, 
option to approve our action points. Autoloader school. Fantastic, because everybody at some point needs to reload, right? But if you're getting support, that makes it so much easier. So we got Autoloader school, we got the Extractor school, and we got uh, the Halo school. And we got a lot of really good weapons. Just double checking one thing. I think we have all of the weapons sufficiently upgraded. Uh, the one thing that I will say though is mm, the staff. Oh, it's just for four strike. No, that's not going to happen. The range would be good. Good. We need extra. Uh, we need extra seats, but we're going to get those. For now, we reach the end of uh, this episode. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And if you enjoy farming seats and getting all of the new little stratagems that we want to test and find out, then uh, leave a comment uh, down below uh, and a like, because with more likes, we get that stratagem faster. Is what I was told and uh, then we can dominate uh, the enemies. Take care, have a good one and see you soon. Bye bye.